Still on the turf then for race number seven. This is 1400 metres, a class four contest. 14 go to post. We have a horse making his debut as well. My Sugar heads the list though. Beaten favourite last time out gets barrier one and the cheek piece is on for the first time. Cheerful days of the beaten favourite last time out gets barrier ten. Um, he was run up to Nam Jong Singh's. Casemiro landed a bit of a gamble, uh, being all for St Paul's last time, who's won since. Diamond Rhyme uh, was the last start course and distance winner. Maximize, maximize Heart blinkers on for his debut. Marvellous fans. Beaten favourite two back. He was behind Casemiro last time out. Brave power the gear change as well. Blinkers on for him and down to win win 33. He was a course and distance winner first up and has been there or thereabouts since coming up in class his last three. Diamond Rhyme, Maximize Heart and Marvellous Fans. Tom, are the horses on the road? Yeah, the speed in this race, uh, good to slow the prediction here. Diamond Rhyme might be able to get his own way in uh, front. Uh, he was able to uh, finally get on the uh, score sheet last time out with a, a win, Diamond Rhyme. My Sugar has the addition of the cheek pieces on this time round, so hopefully that might sharpen him up a little. Run, run good out of gate number 11 there for a chance. Schofield has since trialled nicely and should be fairly handy. Sure, Winwin's come up with another awful barrier draw. Cheerful days is out wide there, but you can see they're clumped up on that graphic. Uh, I think they'll spread out uh, fairly uh, a bit, bit more than what the graphic says. They will, and here is my sugar in the blue saddlecloth going on with it. He looks really well placed. This up to 1,400 metres, and he's been running really well this season. So uh, he looks really good. Deal makers in the later race. Uh, cheerful days. Uh, he looks the main rival of the top one, and uh, his two runs have both been very good. But he has drawn barrier ten. Uh, whereas my sugar barrier one. But look, his work's been good, and that's what we're looking at here at the moment. No problems with him as well. And the other one we're going to have a look at here is Marvellous Fans, working with Pinghai Bravo, who's a last start winner. Marvellous Fans, he looked really nice and relaxed in the back there, and uh, he's a really fit horse now. He's had four runs already this season, so he's at peak fitness as well. OK, all right, we'll start off with the uh, the top weight here, which is My Sugar, who was ridden by Zach Purton last time. He rode cheerful days as well, so it'd be interesting if Zach was riding on Sunday, which one... Um, he would have been on, but uh, what did you make of this, Tom? I thought it was a nice run. We've heard from Zach Purton about this horse before, My Sugar, that um, just takes a little while to uh, wind up and uh, get totally focused and is still learning. But I think the cheek pieces will certainly assist him this time round. He's got the, the top weight to carry, so he's crept up in the weights without winning, Paul. But uh, I think uh, the addition of the, the gear will really help him this time round. Yeah, and from barrier one as well, up to 1,400 metres, uh, look, I think he's really well placed to win this. Yeah, certainly, Cobb couple of positives regarding that. Here's Cheerful Days, again, that Zach rode last time. Son of Macfield, this is a good run. Brave Power and Unicorn Baby, Paul. Yeah, so look, uh, this is the main danger of the top one. I think uh, Cheerful Days, both his runs have been pretty good. Uh, second here behind Nam Jong Sings. Uh, he, he hit the line strongly. Uh, Son of Macfield, as you mentioned, he was a massive price here this day, and he hit the line really nicely. So if he does uh, reproduce this, then he could be in it. He's the one in the what, what colours are they? Cerise, is it? Lilac mm, down the outside? Yeah, um, mauve. Yeah. Mauve. Yeah, mauve. mauve. Yeah, we'll, was, we'll go with mauve. He was making some ground uh, down the outside. Uh, there was uh, Son of McPhee in the, the mauve. I wouldn't want you trying to choose my wardrobe <laughs> after that, Paul. <laughs> Light purple. Um, Casemiro. Now, there was some decent money for Casemiro um, last time out. Uh, Tom, marvellous fans, uh, not his best efforts um, here. It gets a £7 turnaround if that counts for anything. Yeah, and they have uh, had the earmuffs uh, on, or the earplugs uh, there with uh, marvellous fans, but uh, they're removing those this time round. He did get a couple of bumps in the straight there, but Casemiro, he came from a long way back. He'd been knocking on the door prior to this. Um, He's with Paul O'Sullivan. Of course, he formerly used to be with uh, Dennis Ship, but he came from last at the 400 metres and uh, gathered at all for St Paul's, who's since uh, won. And I think he's probably uh, rated well enough again, uh, Paul, to uh, figure in the finish here. Yeah, he's got the claim, hasn't he? So I've got him in, and I've got marvellous fans. I think he'll, he'll improve off that run. OK. What about uh, Diamond Ryan, Paul? Sure, win win in seventh C. The map has Diamond Ryan getting a soft lead. That would certainly uh, give him some sort of chance, particularly from barrier 14. Yeah, and he's a last start winner, as we can see here. Uh, sure, win win can't get a barrier draw. He's drawn wide once again. Keep an eye on him once he draws lower, I think. And uh, 7C has been a little bit uh, disappointing. But uh, look, Diamond Ryan, he did everything he had to do. He, he won here. And if he can re reproduce this, but this was his first win after 20 starts. I wonder about the form here because uh, the second horse, Master Hero, he was terrible last weekend. So with Diamond Rival was able to win that, Master Hero did nothing the other day. But I did like the run from Shaw win when it's just a, a shame he's come up with such an ordinary gate again. All right, OK, moving on then to Run, Run, Good. 
Uh, this is him back at the trials. Uh, Tom, can uh, can he improve? Two decent runs from him so far for a, a fourth uh, behind uh, Pegasus Glory and then a fifth behind Soaring Tower last time out. He's been back to the trials. He was up on the speed in this uh, trial as well. And so I think uh, there's something there with him. He's dropped 14 pounds, so he's uh, trimmed up a little as well, Paul. Yeah, no, it, both runs have both been pretty good, but he's just drawn awkward in 11, so that's what uh, put me off him in the end. But as you mentioned, there's nothing been wrong with both his runs here in Hong Kong. It's about 25 to 1 at uh, the moment. No real surprises, Paul. The action's around the top of the market, but Cheerful Days is actually the favourite. Yeah, 2.8. So, look, I'm going to make my sugar the best of the day. I think he's suited to win this race. Low barrier draw, up to 1,400 metres, uh, and he should get the perfect trip. So he's on top to beat Cheerful Days. Marvellous fans and Casemiro, we talked about those two coming out of the same race. 1, 2, 8 and 3, but I like the one. Yeah, one on top for me as well, though, my sugar to beat to Cheerful Days. I think that's the uh, cue. If you're looking for the trio, maybe, I thought uh, Casemiro would be able to uh, run a, another race again. And I've thrown in Shaw Winwin despite the the bad barrier draw because he was making ground between the, the field uh, last time out uh, there behind Diamond Rhyme. So 1, 2, 3, 12. 1 and 2 is my cue as well. I definitely thought Brave Power and Son of McPhee were interesting, though, further down uh, the handicap at uh, better sort of prices.